Welcome back, everybody. We're doing some cooking with beer. Beer is so much on trend right now um, in cooking um, and tastings. And uh, Kohler, the American Club of Kohler, puts on an annual big beer fest every summer, and it's just a blast. So Trent is here. He's one of the chefs at the American Club. He uh, is at Cucina, the Italian restaurant, uh, as part of the American Club of Restaurants. And he's here to, to cook a little bit with beer and then tell us about the festival. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you, Amy. I love Cucina. It's a wonderful Italian restaurant, and you can go for lunch or dinner. Um, you don't have to stay at the American Club. Nope. Love the food there. It's fantastic. Uh, we're, uh, as we'd like to say, we do everything from stilettos to sandals. So, you know, come on in, stop by, have some drinks, have some apps and come on by. Yeah, so, it's, it's a neat area too because there's all these shops right there so it's a great day trip to kind of do some shopping, have some lunch, you can sit outside. So what are we making today, Trent? Today we are going to take Lagunitas IPA, which is one of my favorite beers. It's, you know, every time you hear IPA you always think over hoppy and so you're just going to get punched in the face with this hoppiness. Lagunitas does a great job of just balancing that out. Okay. So it's great with seafood, it's great with pretty much about anything you want to do. Um, so. Then we're going to make beer mussels. So what we're going to take, we're going to use the Lagunitas, and we're going to saute off the mussels and some fennel. So first okay. we'll start off, we'll get our pan hot. Okay. Need some oil or anything? A little oil, a little okay. salad oil. You got that? Okay. Yep. All right. We'll start off with a little fennel. I don't think people use a lot of fennel in, in recipes, um, but it really adds some great flavor. It's just kind of, you see it at the grocery store and it's this big bulb and yeah. these ferny things. So you just basically get rid of the greens and then just kind of chop up the, the, the bulb part yep. of it. So like you said, you know, it basically comes as a big onion. You know, mm -hmm. you got the big green stuff hanging from the top. I usually cut that off. Sometimes I'll save that stuff. I'll make a vinaigrette out of it or even, it's really kind of cool if you pick it all off and fry it and it fries up and it kind of like makes this little green little bush. It's fun for garnish. Yeah, but it adds a really unique flavor. So then we just took our, our mussels, threw them in. Mussels, now you can get them um, frozen, you can get them fresh at the grocery store, and they're so easy to cook. Oh, absolutely. Super absolutely. easy. Absolutely. Just clean them real well, and the minute they, they open, they're done. Yep, so mussels are very quickly, very quick. Uh, we're going to pop our beer open here. Okay. Um, right about now, once we get a little bit of sear on that fennel, I like, and as Amy said, um, I like adding the fennel because it adds a little funk. You know, you get that anise flavor. Something different. Yeah. So. It's a gorgeous color, that beer uh, is. It's, it's really a wonderful, wonderful beer. So as we put the beer in there, we're going to let that cook down a little bit. Then we'll uh, chiffon out some basil. So chiffon out is pretty much, you just want to take all your herbs and kind of roll them up like you're going to roll a cigarette. Okay. And then you're going to take your knife and just really push through. You know, the key is not to chop and push your knife on top. You really want to cut it almost like you're cutting like a, with a scissors. And you get these beautiful ribbons. And it's, basil is one of those herbs that's very delicate. I love the flavor of it. But you just don't want to go crazy and start chopping it up. Absolutely. And, you know. Absolutely. So we'll throw a little bit of that oh, in there for some good. flavor. Mm. Of course, I like to throw my garlic in a little bit later. Because if you're sauteing it, garlic burns very quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells good. Those mussels are starting to open up. Yep. Oh, wow. So we'll add a little tomato juice to that. We'll throw a cover on there. And we'll let that cook down just for a little bit. Now with me, when I have mussels, it's all about not only the mussels, but that great, um, you know, all the juice that we cook the mussels in. So I've got to have some great bread to sop oh, it all up. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what we have here today. So today we have ciabatta bread, which, which is what we feature at Cucina. Love every single the day. bread at Cucina. Oh, yes. So we're just going to very simply take a bread knife okay. and you can do this as thick or as thin as you really like. And the wonderful thing, wonderful thing about ciabatta bread is when you grill it, you still get that nice soft inside. Mm -hmm. So it's like a sponge, you mm -hmm. know, you get to mm -hmm. soak up all that juice. So we're just going to take this, just going to take a little olive oil, pour a little bit on that side, pour a little bit on that side. I'll put a little salt on there for fun. That's a good idea to kind of to season your bread a little bit, give it yeah. some extra flavor. And then um, on your outdoor on grill, if you're grilling, or just even on a grilled pan. Oh, absolutely. Toast that up, and you really need it to be toasty to hold up to the mussels. Yeah. So we're waiting for our, our bread to toast up a little bit um, and our mussels to do yeah. their thing. Tell us about some of the fun events going on for Beer Fest. So we're kicking it off June 27th, which okay. is Friday, or next Friday, excuse me. And um, we're starting it off with a lobster boil Ooh, at the Wisconsin Room. So 
I think that's like $55 and you get to do lobster boil. I oh, mean, how fun is that? Can't beat that. It's you not know. just something that they do out in Maine. So they're yeah. doing it right at the American Club. So we're having fun like that. And then we're doing even tailgating because uh, the Brewers are playing the Colorado Rockies. So we're actually doing a Miller Coors battle off tailgate party. So kind of fun, you know, thing to kind of represent both states and in beer, you know, because since they're both synonymous with beer. Sure. Um, also, the following uh, day, Saturday, we're doing our, what we're infamous for is Chef in Shorts. Sorry, I didn't bring my shorts today. You know. <laughs> it's and, a perfect day for it. Yeah. So what's that all about? <laughs> yeah. So basically what we do is we get to pair beer and food. So we get local chefs, Kohler chefs, all coming out and we fire up the grill and we cook. I mean, so we have beer, each uh, chef is paired up with a specific beer and um, they cook what they feel matches with that food. Oh, I mean, how fun. Good to be outside with that. Um, a lot of these events, you need to, you know, get tickets and make reservations, correct? Yep. So you can go simply to the AmericanClubResort.com. Okay. And backslash Festival of Beers. Okay. And if you go there, you can buy tickets. You can find what sort of information that you're looking for. And as well as, um, you know, just uh, buying tickets. And you'll also be able to see the different restaurants' menus. All right, our mussels are done. Our, our right. bread is toasted. And we'll put the recipe for these mussels, by the way, on our website. Oh, my gosh, that looks fantastic. Trent, thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Look at the, the ciabatta, how it's toasted up there. Beautiful. There's still plenty of soft. To, oh, goodness gracious. Again, the Kohler Festival of Beer coming up uh, soon. Get all the details on, on the website. And if you can't get to that, Get to Kachina sometime this summer for lunch or dinner. It's delicious. Thanks, Trent. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll be back. Stay with us.